If I want to go away from square design for this box here, of course in Quark Express I can go to the busier tools, I can add a point here, I can move this in a bit, I can make this a round point, do the same thing on this side here, move it out, make it a round point. But you can already see the difficulty it is to get these two sides to be very parallel and to look exactly the same. So let's undo that. In Quark Express 9 what I can do is I can just go to ShapeMaker and with ShapeMaker I have a wizard type of interface where I can modify existing boxes or create new boxes, for example, that look like a wave. In this case I can specify how many waves do I want to have, I'm fine with just one wave. Where should the wave start, maybe I want the wave to start this way. And how strong should the wave be? So what should be the altitude? Do I want one columns or several columns? In this case I'm fine with this box. So I'll just click on create and you can see I have a new text box or basically the old text box is being modified and I have exactly the curve I need and now can edit my text or put something else in there. With ShapeMaker that's not it. You can create even more. Let's say you want to have like a, an eye catcher or you say pictures only 399 today with shape maker you create a star in just seconds so for that i'll go to polygons and let's go to create a star maybe a 12 point star and it can be a very regular star i can also randomize the star so that it doesn't look too regular let's do it like this this looks good. I don't want this to be a text box. I want text to be over that. Maybe I want this to be a picture box or none box because I'm just going to color that. I'll make that maybe two by two inches. Now I don't like my star anymore. So I'll create the star like this. Remember, I can always later on alter that. Of course, I don't want to alter the box I have selected right now. I want a new one. I create that. Very hard to see what I did. So let's uh, give that a filling. Maybe white or maybe more a reddish color. And now I can put in a text box. I'll put a text box over it. Uh, only 399. Make that white. I think you get the idea. And if I don't like my star and I think now the star should look a bit different. It's just a few mouse clicks away. I'll go to Shape Maker again. I alter the current box and say, well, maybe more eight corners, more random, or maybe 16 corners and less random like this create. And you can see how the star has now changed. And I can do the same thing for these picture boxes that we created in a step earlier. I can also go into utilities again, Shape Maker, and now start creating rectangles that have only one corner different or several corner being different. So in this case, maybe I want to have one corner to be rounded and the, less, the rest not to be counted. And I can uh, maybe do these bite size images or have a normal curve outside, do a text box, do a picture box. In this case, I want to alter the current box I'll say create and you can see that the box that used to have rounded corners everywhere now is being altered. So the last design element I want to create is maybe text on a spiral here that runs on the spiral. I could just go to Shape Maker. Much easier is probably to create a text box, maybe like this. And I'll go to Utilities Shape Maker and I want to alter the current box and in spirals I can either create an Archimedes spiral or a golden spiral that where the wine gets bigger. I can create more wines, less wines. Let's say two is probably enough. I can make this smoother or more square. I can maybe create the direction clockwise I think will look fine. I'll alter the current box. It's going to be a text path. I'll say create and I have a box created where I can put any kind of headline and you can see what is happening here. 